How are you all doing Ralph here, Ralph with Customs. It's a Friday mashup. There's loads of little bits and bobs. I'm doing, I'm doing loads of little bits and bobs today, as we call it, bits and bobs. So, uh, let's see what we're up to. It's a bit of a mix from in the week, a little bit of me getting tattooed. Um, another shot of Eva, because people seem to like the old Eva the Beaver, the Queen of the Blues, bless her. The old puppy dog. Um, anyway, here you go. Mate. <coughs> that won't come off now. This is Keith's 1971 Electro Guide in, in blue. It could have made a film about that, couldn't they? I've just got to find neutral, I should get there eventually. You'll do well if the four speed box is like mine. <laughs> if you ever pull up in gear, you're fucking pulling off in gear, ain't you? There we go. Um, and we're off. We're out. Me and Lizzo are out for a ride out and we've happened across some friends. That's like a Swiss fucking watch, isn't it? There's nothing wrong with that, is there? Mine don't sound that nice. Have you seen the video? Somebody, there's a Fantastic. treble head in the background and a guy's playing, playing guitar, the guitar yeah. and it's in perfect time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> full, full time, just going away and he's playing away through That's this. amazing. So this one's for our Rob, who's Zinna do. I'll put a link up. If I remember. Good day, mate. One of my Aussie friends from this here YouTube. He was looking at different counter sinking bits and he really got off on um, something very similar to these. Which I was saying was a two flute, but I've dropped a bollock, Rob. <laughs> They're not two flutes at all, are they? They're just the same as the one you've got. Um, Common little box, different sizes. Five pieces countersink. I'm sure that they are uh, made in China. You know, nice little box though. WD22. Don't know what that means. But there you go. So I stand corrected, mate. And there's a nice little countersink just to show what they do, really. Wonderful bits of kit. Ever so smooth. Smoother than a gravy sandwich. So there you go, Rob. Sorry, mate. My bad. Lots of love to you. Righto. Back on the old Triumph. We've got a nice bit of EN8 at three quarters. At three daughters. Fits the old frame there. Um, now we've had a double check. And we can... That's a nice fit. It's a bit tight, actually. We've had a, a real good measure up. And we can just uh, trim out the bits that we made. The spacer and the bearing adapters just need a light kiss touch just to clear that because we didn't have the material when we made them, so that's all good. Um, then we've got to look at length and whether or not we're having any wheel adjusters on the outside. I wouldn't bother. I'm going to think we're just going to chop a length and cut a thread on each end. That would be my bet. Um, but I'm not sure. We'll have to think about it and see what we end up doing, eh? So we're just going to give those a quick bore through, just a touch, just like a spring pass, to give me a little bit more clearance now that we've got the uh, material for the spindle. So just a little clean off. Tiny little red hot chips coming off this. Ah, oh, bastard. Four red hot It's fucking. Yeah, and we'll leave this tool set and swap the pieces over um, so they're all about the same size. Not a super accurate way of doing it because there will be some 
variations in colour may occur. This is a natural product. But even so, good enough for what we're doing today. Bastard. Tiny little red old fucking chip coming off. Showering me like. Oh, these little fuckers. There we are. Focus. Fucking focus. Okay, here's one. I'm going to do some threading. I, I never did show this properly. Tailstock diode. I made a little one for me, little Atlas, but this demands something a bit more high strength, so we've bought one. Basically, it holds the die nicely, square and straight and true, and it's got a slider so that the workpiece can grab it and it can pull it up to the shoulder. So, you just feed it in gently and let it take it. If it doesn't take it, then you apply a bit of pressure with the hand wheel. Um, the biggest problem I've got is that it sometimes slips on the Morse taper, so a bit awkward to work it around the tripod as well that the camera's on, so bear with. We'll just feed it in, look, slip in. So we'll give it some pressure with the turn, with the handle. Keep going. All the way up to the end. Sorry for the shaky camera. I banged it then, didn't I? And then I release the lever and back her out. Back her out. And we should have a fucking lovely thread. There you go. Let's get it a bit closer. If it'll focus. You'll see. We've got a lovely thread. Sorted. This one goes out to Joey Collins. How are you doing, Lefty? Down at Mill Creek Fab. My brother from another. He was asking about single point knurling tools, which is what this is. Yeah. And what it does, it lets you put straight spline fucking focus on round stock. Everyone's familiar with the knurled crisscross that you get from excuse me, it's gonna reach over that you get from a two wheel type setup. Yeah, it's cross hatching. Um but Joe was asking particularly about a single point, and it's the, the tool that does it. You get different wheels, fine, medium, coarse, etc. Really simple to use. Um, I'll show you on this bit of aluminium. So, just pick a gear would be a good start. Not too fast on this larger stock, but you want quite a bit of pressure on the old girl. So we're going to square the loop. That's what separates it from the animals, eh? And then wind him in. See, Jesus, weaker. Keep that pressure on. And a nice steady travel. Bear in mind, it's cutting. But it's also deforming. I'll show you. As well as cutting those little grooves. See, we've got that line. I'll take this out and show you. So, you need more loop really, not for the first time, but you see, see we've got that line, but it's also, if, if it picks up this top edge, it's pushed material, yeah, off the top of the bar, and what that does, is it lets us increase the size, so, let's go old school for you fucking doing bananas. So that's one inch, 0. 0.6 of a thou, 10 hundred thou, no sorry, one inch, six thou, eight thou is showing there, it's upside down. But when we go over to where we did that single point, it's now 23 thou, 20, 22 is showing. Yeah, so it makes it a, a snug fit for things like pins, you know, it shows on this, this little bit of round stock better because that's uh, 0.247 bananas, so that's a quarter of an inch, near as fuck it is to swearing. And when we go on to the bit with the, with the spline, it's 0.253 or 0.255 even. Yeah, I'm not doing a very good demonstration, but it grows, it's bigger. It deforms, it cuts a little slot out, and it spreads the material. 
so it allows us to make a press fit out of things. I did it on that um, bottom yoke in the big fuck off front end that I fitted. I've split my finger. Look, safety third. You fucking still got a chunk missing out of it. No shit, it's leaking now. Oh well. There you go. That's for you, Jerry, bro. Enjoy. Peace, Commissioner Gordon. Triumph, look, the old Bobberina moon eh? Frames back. Just gone and picked it up. Why oh, fuck, it's a fucking heavy job. Nice and shiny. Chest and niner. Hopefully. If not damaged the fucking threads that I told them to take extra care of. Her. Hey. So. That'll be looking absolutely fucking literally wonderful once it goes back in. Next week. That will totally dominate next week. So we've got this off uh, Apple's adventure bike, we'll call it. Got a fucking crack rack carrier. Um, aluminium made of. So I'm going to give it a good clean up. Um, and I'm going to possibly cut something to reinforce it. I think I'll put a strip in the sides behind, underneath here. Yeah, so... We do need to get that sorted, cleaned up, prepped, braced and welded. And now I'll give it a quick clean up. Might even shot blast it. It's powder coated. So I'm not going to be able to shot blast the powder coating off, but I can clean up where I've been. Ain't it? Hopefully. She'll be a good one. And there we have it blasted. Job's a good one. Hopefully you can hear me over the uh, sound of the compressor. But some tracks just been using loads of air to try and soften the edges of this job. There you go. Hallelujah, brothers and sisters. And we're just making an engine plate for the Triumph. Yeah. We've put an extra rail in. And now we're making a triangle engine plate to catch the top mount. We made a spacer for the bottom mount. It's going to line everything up just peachy when we fit it. Is it in, in the gap there that you can't really see? Ooh, got this TIG rod on the TIG. Uh, we've lined up with the uh, drivetrain. So the engine's not sitting in the middle because uh, we had to offset it a little bit to line it up with the Harley Davidson back wheel that we're using, but everything's looking good. All ashore is going ashore. God bless her and all this sailing on. Right. So we've done that and it's fucking hot, so you can fuck off. Should... Yeah, it should separate. So... Ow, ow, ow. We need to make some spaces. Hey. To space that puppy out. Oh, ow, 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 ow. I didn't learn, did I? I didn't learn the first time. It's like Homer Simpson going for the beer on the fucking power line. Anyway, boosh, done. Yep. And that's as far as we're getting because it's too late in the day on a Friday and I've done. I did never get, not never, I've still got these to turn into cones. Yeah. And we had a quick tidy up. The triumphs as far as it's going this week. It's absolutely beautiful and baking hot outside. The blue princess is sat there patiently. But what we're doing, what we're actually doing, is taking the shovel at home. So, just leaves me to say thanks for watching. Hope you have a great weekend. Please subscribe. Check out the description below and follow my friends. Lots of love everyone.